I created a tool that allows you to animate things and adjust the path directly on the edit page. I got this idea at midnight the other night and I had to try it. So I spent like two hours on it and it's still not perfect, but I wanted to share it with you. This is the result so far. It's a pretty straightforward tool. You have the keyframe amount here, which allows you to make your animation faster or slower. The in and out buttons allow you to choose if there's an intro and an outro or just an intro or just an outro animation. Now the motion blur, it's pretty straightforward. Adjust it to your liking. And the curve settings here allow you to play around with the animation style. You can even create your own custom curve. To see the path, go to this section and activate the fusion overlay. This line right here is our path. You can move it around and also adjust the curvatures. And if you want to make it have some more interesting movements, add more points to it. If you right click and select insert and modify, you can add more points in between the starting and the ending point. If you would rather have a linear path, right click, then select all. And once all the points are selected, right click again and choose linear or simply press shift L. If you want to smooth your point and add curvature, select all and then press shift O or go through the right click menu and then find that option. You can also animate your curve. I would use these mostly if I want to have the outro be different than the intro. So let's say I wanted to go out this way. So what I would do is go more towards the second half of the clip, add a keyframe here and then move the points to the position where I wanted to go out to. Now there's one little bug that I've encountered sometimes and is that sometimes if you close a project and then come back later, the effect just wants to stay blank. Now if that happens, click right here to open the effect in Fusion. Now press play so it starts processing the effect inside Fusion. And then go back to the edit page. This will activate the effect again and you will be able to see it on the edit page. Sometimes if you have multiple clips, this actually fixes it for all the clips at the same time for some reason. If you guys do encounter this issue, let me know down in the comments, but I will be working on trying to find a fix for it. And if you have any recommendations on added features, let me know too. Now to download Pathmaker, go to the freebie section on the Swalby website or just click the link down in the description. So that is it for this video. If you want to keep mastering DaVinci Resolve, make sure to watch this video right here.